In 1982, an unknown criminal put cyanide into some Tylenol capsules and replaced them on the store shelf to be purchased by unsuspecting consumers. Seven people died from taking the poisoned pills. Two of them were the star-crossed newlyweds at the center of the tragic case, Janus v. Tarasowicz. Stanley Janus and Teresa Tarasowicz got married in the late summer of 1982. they just returned from their honeymoon when Stanley's brother Adam died suddenly. The family gathered at the Janus home on September 29th to mourn his loss. What no one knew yet was that Adam had died from taking Tylenol laced with cyanide. Both Stanley and Teresa had headaches, and each took some of the same Tylenol that had killed Adam. Shortly thereafter, Stanley collapsed. A neighbor performed CPR. When the ambulance arrived, Teresa also collapsed and began having seizures. Both Teresa and Stanley were now unconscious with non-reactive pupils. The paramedic gave Stanley a drug to stimulate heart contractions, but reported that Stanley had zero blood pressure, pulse, or respiration. Teresa was still breathing very slowly, but her body had gone into a rigid posture indicating severe neurological dysfunction. She then stopped breathing. The paramedic intubated both Teresa and Stanley and respirated them while they rode to the hospital. When they arrived, Stanley had no blood pressure or pulse. Doctors inserted a pacemaker, but Stanley was pronounced dead at 8.15 p.m. on September 29th. The hospital personnel were able to get Teresa's heart beating again. They put Teresa on a mechanical ventilator in intensive care. Tests performed the following day indicated that she'd sustained total brain death. Teresa was pronounced dead on October 1st. Stanley had a $100,000 life insurance policy with Metropolitan Life Insurance Company. Teresa was the primary beneficiary, and Stanley's mother, Aloysia Janus, was the contingent beneficiary. Under the Uniform Simultaneous Death Act, as enacted by state law, if there was no clear evidence that one person had predeceased the other, the proceeds of the policy would be distributed as if the insured had survived the beneficiary. Metropolitan concluded that Teresa had survived Stanley and paid the proceeds of Stanley's policy to Teresa's father, Jan Tarasowicz. Stanley's mother sued Tarasowicz. Janus argued that both Stanley and Teresa had suffered brain death before arriving at the hospital and that she was therefore entitled to the proceeds of the insurance policy. After hearing testimony from various medical experts, the trial court concluded that there was sufficient evidence that Teresa had survived Stanley. It found in favor of Tarasowicz. Janus appealed to the Illinois Appellate Court.